Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I hope you all are doing amazing. Now in this video, I am going to list you guys eight reasons why your serum is not working for you. Now if you are a person who has bought a serum which everyone hyped but did not work for you, or if you are someone who has tried almost all the serums in the market or almost all the active ingredients in the market, but you find them useless you have landed on the right video even i have been there so i have learned that there are few reasons why serums or active ingredients don't work for you i'm going to list them in this video i have curated them to the best of my knowledge okay i'm going to share it with you all okay so that's going to be today's video and i hope you all will find it helpful at the end okay so yeah before moving on to the video i need to say this please subscribe to my channel if beauty especially makeup and skincare seems like your thing you have to be a part of this community and you can also follow me on my instagram and also on my linkedin and medium on linkedin and medium you will find a you will get to see a difference on there yeah so if you wish you can follow me there as well okay so now without any further delay let's begin with today's video Now, reason number one, there are brands who formulate their products based on book. Okay, when I say book, there are uh, researchers and things which actually, you know, uh, tells that if you use this percentage of vitamin C or this percentage of niacinamide, it will work really well. And they will just, uh, you know, research all those, put those ingredients in a bottle and say, this is the serum and this works for this that and that okay so in this case what will happen is if you buy serums based on the claims that the brand is making you may not be able to see those results because you know buy book it's a great formula but they themselves have not you know used it on human skin and i've seen results okay there are other brands like plum minimalist and so on who actually formulate a serum and use them on a bunch of people okay and they will give you statistical results saying that 87 percent of them have seen this result have seen that result so you need to gravitate towards these kind of brands and not towards the brands who doesn't give you statistical ev evidence okay so always make sure that you go to the brands page and see how many people have actually seen result out of that serum okay these days now brands have great marketing strategies and influences uh, even I am against it, but there are few influencers who just position a product or promote a product uh, because they get money or exposure to a brand. I, I mean, I can understand their point of view also, but again, you don't have to lose your money for that. I am pretty strong in that also. Okay, so. Uh, what you need to do is you need to like before buying a serum or if you are uh, you know seeing it as a recommendation from your favorite influencer you have to go to the brand's page and see how evidential the results are okay if you see no statistical evidence or no difference like before after thing on their uh, page you might have to wait for a uh, few honest reviewers to review the product and then invest on it okay do not directly go and invest your money in something which gives you glamorous claims but not evidential results okay all we need is evidential result even in that case sometimes it may not work for you so always make sure you look you you look into the brand page and know about the statistical result that the serum is able to produce okay so that's reason number one reason number two is about the percentage okay so now there are a, a lot of percentage in the same active ingredient like you will be able to see two percent vitamin c to 15 percent vitamin c okay so if you are a person who has uh, you know immense amount of hyperpigmentation or dark spots you may not be able to see results from a two percent vitamin c okay so you know those kind of cases also happens okay your skin concern or your skin type will not uh, find that particular strength or concentration of the active ingredient ample okay so in that case you know just imagine you are an adult okay and if someone comes to you and give one date or one cashew nut or one badam and says eat this as a snack will it be like sufficient for you you are an adult okay you need more food right so it actually goes the similar way if your skin is like heavily hyperpigmented you need to have something a uh, little stronger okay to actually work on your skin okay so always make sure that the percentage you use is good enough to 
uh, see results for the kind of skin condition you have now for this you may not be able to do much you have to go to a dermat and ask for recommendation or you have to go to someone who is well versed with skincare and then ask them for recommendation okay if not you may have to start with a lower percentage and you know experiment and see what kind of percentage work for you but that's a very huge process instead you can directly go to a dermat or a skincare junkie and ask what will work okay so that's that's the reason number two and reason number three we have to accept that the ingredient is not for us okay when vitamin c got uh, viral a lot of people started using vitamin c and if you see vitamin c is not that ingredient which will work on everyone okay but a lot of people kind of hyped and created that much of clout around it but it is not the case okay so not that one ingredient vitamin c will not work for everyone alpha albutin will not work for everyone so not every ingredient will work for everyone we are made different okay my genetic my dna is very different and your genetic and your dna is very different i will react in a different way to a vitamin c and you will react in a very different way to a vitamin c like every body is different my metabolism rate would be different your metabolism rate would be different in the same way the way my skin reacts to an ingredient will be different from the way your skin reacts to it to an active ingredient okay so that is also something you need to consider if a lot of people are saying that this particular vitamin c is working it may not work for you because your skin is not something that will will take up vitamin c as a good thing okay there are people who find vitamin c as a very allergic ingredient okay so these things happen since skincare is a very subjective matter like it's it's very subjective okay it may work for everyone but it may not work for you you have to just accept the fact and move on to some other ingredient okay not not losing hope okay so even if dermat is suggesting you an ingredient chances are higher that it may not work for you okay that's how your skin actually reacts Uh, they say it right uh, when you do so much of skin care but your skin doesn't care that thing works here uh, you know if that ingredient is not for your skin your skin not your skin is not going to care only and reason number 4 okay uh this is something you need to look into this is something which everybody can work on you are not using the active ingredient or serum the right way now take hyaluronic acid okay hyaluronic acid need to be used on a damp skin okay like uh once you come out of your shower or once you wash your face just pat dry your face a bit and one and when your skin is damp you need to apply your hyaluronic acid that's how hyaluronic acids need to be applied okay that's the right way of applying hyaluronic acid and if you take chemical exfoliators like salicylic acid or mandelic acid or whatever chemical exfoliators that you use if you take them you have to apply them on your dry skin because if you apply it on a damp skin uh, the concentration will get diluted and it may not work the best for you okay so in both the cases the you know the criteria is very different right you need to apply hyaluronic acid on a damp skin and you need to apply salicylic acid on a dry skin so the criteria the situation is polar opposite okay so in that way every ingredient has its own way of usage okay you need to use vitamin c in this way uh, this thing in this way that thing in that way so always make sure to look for some information on google or look into your favorite skin care influencers and see how to use this particular ingredient okay how many times i should use it in a week because if you use it more than what is recommended your skin is going to face a lot of issues okay so always make sure to know how much you should use how many times you use how to use that particular ingredient okay so always make sure that you gather all this information and then start using the ingredient if not then again you are not going to see much result okay why this is something that it's not a new reason i would say all of you would know that uh, this is something which is very important but at times we may think that ah ini ko naal pannalana enna avapudu illa inda varam podlana enna avapudu so kind of things okay so Uh, reason number 5 is that you are not wearing your sunscreen okay so i have to say that uh, if let's say for example you are looking to um, you know uh, reduce your hyperpigmentation and you are using a serum uh, an alpha albutin serum okay to counteract your hyperpigmentation you use it every night okay and the next day every day you are not using a sunscreen 
Now, sun exposure is a very important cause of hyperpigmentation. You are using a serum at night to remove your hyperpigmentation, but you are doing something in the daytime which will cause you uh, hyperpigmentation. Okay, you understand doing a treatment, but you are also damaging. Okay, so in this way, how do you think that your serum or active ingredient is going to work? all your serums and active ingredient is meant to repair your skin heal your skin whatever whatever okay it is meant to do the good things okay so if you're not wearing sunscreen the benefit it has given to you the previous night will get you know flown away so always make sure that you use a sunscreen on an everyday basis okay it's reason number six now reason number six is a bit advanced i would say uh Actives, although like I prefer to keep it minimal, pairing of active ingredients may work like magic. Okay, so if you have vitamin C, vitamin C work really well with vitamin E and ferulic acid. So if you have alpha arbutin, it will work really well with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. So these kind of pairings now it will make your uh, serum work like magic. Okay, but always make sure that you research enough and ensure that if you mix a uh, serum and a moisturizer it is not going to get clashed to uh, do more harm than good okay so in that case it is always better to go for uh, serums or products that actually has got uh, a good pairing done like for example uh, deconstructs vitamin c serum has got vitamin e and uh, uh, ferulic acid in it minimalist has a alpha arbutin serum which has got hyaluronic acid in it uh, and uh, Vilva skincare has got their milk drops is there now so it also has alpha arbutin and hyaluronic acid in it so maybe go ahead and look for formulations which has got the pairing already done because they good they could have tested it in the labs okay so always make sure that you pair ingredients in a in the right way if not go for serums that are already paired and tested okay so that is something if you want if you are feeling that your ingredients is not working maybe pair it with something else okay in that way your ingredient will work really well reason number seven it is one of the most important reason i would say that you don't exfoliate your skin really well no always make sure that you exfoliate your skin really well for the skincare products to work they say right uh, when you shave your skincare products work really well the science behind it is when you shave your skin cells now the dead skin cells will get removed so that when you apply a serum or an active ingredient it will work really well okay so the same thing applies here too when you have your dead skin cells on the dead skin cells will hamper the absorption of those serums okay it will hamper that uh, you know goodness to not enter your uh, fresh skin cells okay in that case it is literally waste to buy a serum and apply so always make sure that you exfoliate your skin once or twice in a week don't overdo exfoliation too once or twice a week and then you apply your skin so that your new fresh skin cells will be able to absorb the serum or active ingredient and work really well okay so that is something you need to take care of reason number eight that you are not cleansing your face well enough okay so always make sure that you take your face wash do a 60 second cleansing routine every time you wash your face mm -hmm. and then in the night you have to double cleanse your skin okay so no matter whether you wear makeup or whether you don't wear makeup always make sure that you double cleanse okay because the sunscreen will not get break down very easily with your face wash you need to apply your uh, oil cleanser or balm or your micellar water to ensure that you are breaking down your makeup sunscreen and the skincare oil pollution and all that once you rinse those off use a face wash for 60 seconds and rinse the uh, you know uh, residual uh, skincare products or dirt or gunk and then apply your serum if you are not going to wash your or clean your face really well your face may have that uh, you know dirt and top of that if you apply your serum it may not work really well so always make sure that you use a very good cleanser okay a non-stripping gentle cleanser wash your face for like massage your face wash for about 60 seconds 
and in the night always double cleanse your face even though if you're not applying your makeup you need to double cleanse okay so i've been editing this video and i came to know that i forgot one of the most important reasons why your serums or active ingredients don't work so i just thought of filming a rough clip of it and attaching to the video because i need to get it out okay i don't have time to say do the makeup get my background <laughs> fine and then do it okay it's, it's just going to be a simple explanation now and i hope you don't mind my mind the way i look okay so yeah so basically if you have any reason number nine is uh, if you have any underlying health condition your ingredient the active ingredient or the serum may not work because if you have pcod or any other uh, underlying hormonal issue you may have some acne and some hyperpigmentation okay so in this case if you are using a serum to take those acne away it will not work because the problem is inside it's not outside okay so always make sure that you are uh, taking care of your inner health like your gut health your uh, um, you know what to say your menstrual health so that your skin may look good okay so if the problem is from the inner like your gut or uterus a, uh, any topical application may not work okay so that's the reason number nine i am and i'm sweating see i just switched off the fan for about one one and a half minute and i'm i'm sweating like this guys the summer is real so make sure to follow uh, this and and see whether your uh, serum is working well or not i'm pretty much sure that if you take care of all these eight things your uh, serum will start or your active ingredient will start working really well okay so those were the eight reasons i hope you all found this video helpful and informative i will meet you all in my next video till then take care bye